Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, I've got this fabulous lady back in the kitchen, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> Proper regular. <laughs> so anybody who doesn't know Marianne, I'm absolutely amazed because Marianne's been in the kitchen loads of times right from the beginning, isn't it? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was one of our first bravies with Karen Davies to come on into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, do demos. And ever since she's been here, you've absolutely loved having her in the kitchen, especially when she's doing flowers. You all go wild for that one. But you also go wild with all the other things that she does because you look at these cutters and then suddenly she just makes them into something magnificent and believe me she's got a full tray of tricks to show you tonight yeah yeah i'm very excited about what well actually i'm very excited about a few but there's one that's really turned my head yeah and i think it'd be good for the wedding season as well so if you do buy it i like it for the wedding season so wait yeah. till that comes along so what well, we've got lots to do haven't we, we have yeah. so marion's just gonna go and get a coffee because yeah. i've got lots to tell you and she don't want to stand here looking bored yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll tell you. so yeah. i've got laura and maria in the kitchen hi laura hi maria hi, hi. sorry maria's up there <laughs> so, are you going to bring that down here as well yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Um, so let's just apologise about Thursday night. So Thursday night we went live with Sarah Doyle. We do not know what happened, but basically Facebook cut us off. We couldn't get onto Facebook at all. And then we went onto YouTube and we don't know what happened. Bang, done, gone. So um, that was the end of it. So Maria has done lots of video of what actually happened afterwards. You only missed 20 minutes as it happened because what we did is we carried on filming just to see that we didn't want to stop it but we carried on filming just to see what happened um but maria's done lots of little videos and if she gets chance this week she'll make those little videos and pop them up because what sarah did at the end was fantastic i think maria's posted a picture of what she did but they were great so we'll put some little one minute videos together and um, we also did the draw on thursday for the draw and you missed that as well but i will tell you that the winner for thursday's draw was lynn steer so if lynn steer is watching tonight and I think we know Lynn, don't we? Yeah. I recognise the name. Anyhow, does she, she, not, she doesn't come into the office, does she? No, no, but she's a regular watcher. We've, um, we've yeah, asked questions that's it. So Lynn Steer is the winner of the £25 voucher for last, last Thursday. Thursday. So yeah. do you remember what we're doing now? Because we want to push sugar and crumbs, we want you to share it with all your friends, okay? But don't share into the groups. Just share with all your cakey friends, share on your page, share with your best mate, share with anybody who has an interest in cakes, okay? So share this live tonight, and then tonight's live will be drawn next Monday. Monday. I'm trying to think what day. <laughs> now, we are actually here next Monday. We weren't meant to be, but Phil Jensen from Extreme Cake Makers um, has actually said that he's actually in the area and him and his wife Christine are more than happy to come and do a live wow. so and they they are even wow. Marion said wow <laughs> so you can't say no to that can you Marion <laughs> and especially when he said Carol I'll do a live for you on Monday so we're really chuffed so Laura that means Laura's got to work are you in on Monday yeah, Laura? In yeah. yeah. so because I know Maria's sunning herself in Spain yep <laughs> mm -mm -mm. why we have to do the cold weather so uh so it'd be me and maria in the kitchen and then as i say phil me sorry me and laura in the kitchen <laughs> and as i say it will be chris uh, christine and phil jensen they'll be here and if you don't know them go and look at extreme cake makers because they're on there so fabulous couple couple we're looking forward to them so um laura how's our audience growing are Fantastic. we with facebook by the way tonight we're on facebook <laughs> And YouTube and also streaming on the website on the Facebook Live must have section. Yeah, fantastic. So everywhere still. Yeah. So uh, let's hope, fingers crossed. But you know what? Every now and again there's a blip. And as much as it's upsetting, and believe me, we're equally upset because you know we've got the staff in, they're working nighttime, we've got a guest here. We just have to take a deep breath yes. and go with it. So and apologize. So, and just let me tell you what's going on. So somebody sent me this book. Now, somebody did send me a message. I don't know whether they sent me a message, um, a, a, a Facebook message or a text message. And I do know it's from Julie. And the clue will be here in a minute because it arrived today. And I, I said to Marie, I said, oh, somebody sent me this book. And then I opened it up and I know who. The only problem is I don't know which Julie it is. <laughs> but I got this message and all it was was a picture like this. So, um, and what does it say, Laura? Check out pages 188 and 189. Enjoy, love Julie. Um, to the staff at Sugar and Crumbs, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Marco Pierre. Right. Yeah. Oh, and he's, and he signed it. Yeah, isn't that good? That. So, this lovely cookbook arrived and he signed it as well. So, I'm really very pleased. And whichever Julie it is, do pop up and let me know. Um, and then it says check out pages 188 and 189. 
So, um, whoa, he's not my type of bloke. <laughs> not mine either. I like really. him chunky and fat. <laughs> fat but I like him well built but anyhow he's handsome he's showing it off in his cookery book god bless him sorry Marco but I'm sure I'm not your type either <laughs> he's probably saying no I don't like chunky and fat either <laughs> but chunky fat people have to like chunky fat people don't they so there you go so anyhow but thanks Julie love it so I've had, I've had a good look at this today so it's brilliant so then Cake Master sent us their magazine. So we may as well go with this again, just give you one more little tell you about it. In fact, they're in the cupboard hiding. Why? Okay. Why are they in the cupboard hiding? Because I had a cake class. So I had a cake class. Shocking. Sorry. I need to put them on here. Did I tell you we won an award? <laughs> two? <laughs> Not one. <laughs> just in, we won two awards. So just in case you don't know about it, uh, Cake Master's Award. So we won two awards, one for Product of Excellence, and which is edible, and Product of Excellence, non-edible. There was a few other winners as well, but me was one of them. So Marion's just choking herself in the back room there. So, but anyhow, it's there. Are you all right, Marion? Would you like a pass on the back? We've she chilled right. already. <laughs> she, I bet she had a Christmas. Did you have a Christmas summit then, or what was she choking on? <laughs> me running for the award. <laughs> It's not a cough. I know she's choking herself on it. Did you? <laughs> that's me getting as much sympathy as you can get out of me, anyhow. So that's going under there. So that's the awards. Just in case I didn't tell you, we won two. So I'll pop them over there. And then we do have some new goodies in the kitchen. So new sprinkles, happy sprinkles. Look at those big bad gorgeous. boys. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, so can we see them there, Laura? Is that better? Colours are beautiful, yeah. aren't they? So these come in three colours. I love that baby pink colour. Isn't that lovely? Mm. So a baby pink. That's a baby blue, baby <laughs> pink. Just to confuse you. I'm, I'm very concerned about Marion choking over that. So, <laughs> sure you believe me, don't you? Yeah. Aren't they lovely, them? They are. And then we've got the rods. So they come in gold, green. Do you see them all right, Laura? Yeah, beautiful. Blue. Pink. And silver. In fact, I'll do it that way. Is that better? Yeah. There you go. You see all them? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So they're on sale. So let's get those out of the way. I'll tidy up in a minute. Uh, lots of other things on sale. Um, later on, so I've just got loads of these. So any of you have you, any of you used the pasta de flores? Well, so a lot of people who use yeah. that actually. So yeah. if you haven't used it, it's sugar. Sugar actually never goes off. It has a best before date. But the best before date for this was September. So I'm just I think it was two how much was it, Laura? Two six nine. Two sixty-nine. There's actually no legal requirement to reduce anything <laughs> that's the best before. Um, but I'm actually gonna go and put it on the website in a minute when Marion gets started. Albeit I'm just gonna have a little quick whisper with her first because I don't want us to make that thing I really like. What are you making first? You're not making that thing I really like. I'm, first. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm doing the tray on the icing that oh, you might have to wait till I get to see something else. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna put this on the website, so I'm just gonna reduce this to one pound fifty. Um perfectly safe, perfectly fine, it's the best before and I'll make sure it's written as best before and I'll put it in the wish list and um, I've also got some wooden items to put in okay so they're just cheapy cheerfuls so I know some of you don't have a lot of space you don't have a lot of big space like big space for big boards so if you're cutting out you know um, your models or stuff like that I thought you could have your sugar paste on here you can roll it you can cut it and you know what when you need to move it out of the way donk well what that's really good for because we've had Sarah Sarah Doyle when she's doing her cookies and painting and also Marion's explained before if you've got a lot of the same items paint pop them on a trail you know mm. yeah yeah and just do them at your own measure yeah. Absolutely, good idea. It's yeah. easy then. I just thought it's like a nice little craft it? board, yeah. isn't it? So I thought they could roll it, they could chop their modelling paste in it, doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Got the cookies and stuff, and they're only cheap, so, uh, but they weren't cheap to buy, but they're cheap. They're, I'm selling them off cheap. And little chopping boards, I've got a few more other ones to put on as well. This is called rubber wood, and, um, but I don't know why it's called rubber wood. I was just reading about it while I was putting it on, anyhow, put the description on. So they're on the website, and as I say, I've got quite a few more of this wood and stuff to go on, but it won't go on now till tomorrow. And then, last but not least, 
the big reveal. What do you think that is? <gasps> we need like flashing lights and a banner or something. No. <laughs> Did you forget it, Maria? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> cream cheese. So cream cheese has been the bane of our life. Since I've been in business for six years, you've asked me, asked me for cream cheese. I don't know if any of you have ever bought cream cheese liquid flavouring. And I've got some here. I'll just give I'll just finish marrying off all together. <laughs> so one second. Come down here, Maria. Maria. Have a whiff. <laughs> Stand there like two oh, girls. Goes. So this, you can buy this stuff, okay? Cream cheese flavouring. Oh. Big oh, smell. Don't it. Oh. Smells really oh. well. <laughs> Do you want to go down on your car? That's unusual. <laughs> well, we've been yeah. through this. <laughs> so, the cream cheese flavour, and every time we bought cream cheese flavour, it smells like this. So, obviously, that's what cream cheese, they think cream cheese does smell like. But Laura will tell you, her and I spent all summer last year playing with it. Oh. And, and even John walked in here and went, oh my God get it out of here, didn't he? He was yeah. going mad. And then later on in the day, I walked into the office and they all went, what the hell is that? I felt like, like, what, what? what? Anyhow, me smelling of the cream cheese. <laughs> so we can't give you this. So I can't, not in any format. This, and to be fair, I reckon I'd probably clear all the stop all. They'd probably think a nuclear bomb's gone off if I put that in the blender, yeah. something like that. So um, we can't have that. So we've spent a long time trying to get it to a flavor that we think tastes like cream cheese. And just remember, it is icing sugar, where cheese is cheese, but we've got it to a flavor that we think we're really happy with. So we sent it out to the bloggers. We sent it out to 20 bloggers, and um, over 90% of them loved it. I think we had 300 tastings or more yeah, at, in, the shows. at the shows. I think we probably did about four or 500 tastings, yeah. but I know 300 plus really preferred this one because we did two strengths so i think we've nailed it and then what we're going to do is going to launch it tonight at two pound a bag so there you go cream cheese perfect for your red velvet cakes your um carrot cake carrot cake oh. there it's on the tip of my tongue i was just checking you were listening laura <laughs> so <laughs> and what else would you put cream cheese on it's horrible that smell doesn't it step your nose yeah <laughs> <laughs> what else would you put cream cheese with Chocolate, chocolate cake, with Good, cream yeah. cheese, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Carrot cake serious. and red velvet cake, anyhow. Mm -hmm. Chocolate cake. Anyhow, the baby they're telling us, Laura, are they telling us? How's Not that audience? Amazing. The audience is over 200. It's still growing at the moment. Yep. We've got loads of people really excited that we've got cream cheese. Yeah. And a lot of people saying you were cruel to marry and then for making us smell that. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> they weren't bothered about you, Maria, were they? No. I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Marion. Right. But to be fair, I would have been even crueler if I'd put that in the bag and give yeah. it to you. Oh, yeah. 